When it comes to photographic or video equipment, you get what you pay for, it's true. Usually, more you pay better quality optically and better quality bill lenses, you are going to get. It's true, but we all like a bargain. We all hope that there must be some exceptions to this rule, but more often than not, when you buy a really cheap lens, you get really poor everything. And in the end, you have to buy the, the proper one Anyway, this time I have here a very rare exception. This brand new full frame Viltrox 20mm f2.8 lens for Sony E-mount cameras. It is very small, it is very light and it delivers really good consistent results but it only costs $100. $60. In this video, I'll show you lots of samples shot with it and I'll tell you why this lens is different than everything else in this price range on the market. Keep watching to find out more. I have used a lot of lenses in my time as a professional photographer and here reviewing them on my channel and I've never seen anything like this before. There are a lot of cheap and cheerful lenses out there, especially for Sony cameras, but they are always very inferior in comparison to anything even remotely more expensive or professional. Take Sony's own 50mm f1.8 prime, okay, but with serious issues like chromatic aberration and slow and loud autofocus. This one, however, although it is similarly priced to 50mm, it's cheaper actually, is nothing like it. Firstly, it performs very well. Sharp, great color and contrast, reliable. It delivers really nice looking images that could really fool even the most picky photographers or critics out there. I was instantly surprised and something I did not expect from this lens at all. The sharpness is very good in the center wide open, but it falls off slightly around the edges. Not unusual and not really tragically, but totally acceptable. It gets way better when you start closing that aperture down. The autofocus is okay, better than expected for a lens with such a low price tag. It works, but it has occasional little wobble. Generally speaking, it focuses well, but only very occasionally struggles to focus on something smaller or on moving subjects, for example. It is, however, pretty much silent. It is on par with some lenses that cost three, four times more than this, for sure. Minimal focusing distance is about 19 centimeters, not as close as with a lot of wide angle lenses, but still okay to capture really nice close ups with it. Nice and smooth bokeh too. What is really surprising is that there is literally no chromatic aberration visible. There's some, but hardly noticeable. Viltrox have done this before with their lenses. They have found a solution that eliminates this issue completely, something that a lot of premium brands cannot do. Flaring is also very under control. Optically, this lens could really give a lot of expensive lenses run for their money. When it comes to video, this is when the cheaper price tag can be more noticeable. Generally speaking, it is okay. Great focal length for vlogging and general everyday usage. The weight and size make it also a good choice for filming with it from the gimbal. The other focus works well, but sometimes, only sometimes, struggles to acquire focus when changing the distance to your subject or moving. It has an occasional wobble then. Sometimes you just cannot keep focusing constantly. When vlogging, it tracks the eyes very well, and once it acquires focus, it keeps it there. Considering its price, this is all way above average anyway. There's literally no focus breathing visible either when changing your focus from something close to something further away. This is not a stabilized lens, not a surprise, but it works uh, with the body stabilization of all current Sony cameras. Builds. It is very small, certainly one of the smallest, if not the smallest, full frame 20 millimeter lens out there. It weighs Fedelite 157 gram. It's made out of standard plastic, standard plastic for lightweight and budget friendly lens. No buttons or switches on the lens. Large focus ring, smooth, but it could be a touch smoother. And it makes a little bit of plastic on plastic rubbing noise. Metal mounts, no weather sealing of any kind, and there is a USB-C socket at the mount for future firmware updates. It feels light, but it feels well made. What is it good for? This is a perfect focal length for shooting landscape and architecture with. It also is a great travel lens. Its size and weight make it less conspicuous, and it could be used as just one lens for everything when, when traveling. Also good choice for street, portrait, night, or close-up photography. Very good focal length for vlogging, wide enough to film yourself and show your surrounding in your shots as well. I think that 16 or 18 millimeter lenses can be a touch too wide for vlogging and 24 too tight to film yourself while holding the camera in your hand. 20 millimeter is that perfect focal length to fill in that gap in my opinion. 
perfect match for any of the smaller size full frame or, or even APS-C Sony cameras. It is 30 millimeter on APS-C sensor size camera, still wide angle and still very usable for most of shooting situations. Price and value for money, this is incredible value for money. There is no other 20 millimeter like this one out there. It is capable of delivering really nice, sharp and punchy results. It is a lens that is easy to use regardless if you are a total beginner or a pro used to shooting with G Master lenses. It is small and fun to shoot with and it costs only 165 pounds here in UK or $158 in US. Total bargain. Conclusion, although it is a cheap lens, I will have no problem shooting with it professionally. For interiors, big group portraits, or even an occasional slow gimbal video shot, no problem whatsoever. There isn't many lenses like this out there. Very rare to have a lens this budget friendly and this good optically. It is not perfect, but very capable of delivering great results and very good value for money. I have seen many twice or more expensive lenses perform worse than this. The things are changing and companies like Viltrox can now make good quality optics like this for the fraction of the cost. It's not gonna replace Sony or Sigma 20mm lenses out there, but it is certainly a great alternative. Cheap price, cheap build and the minimum aperture of f2.8 might put some purists off of it, but this is not a lens for purists. This is a lens for someone who wants a little lens that can deliver great results and is very cheap to buy, spur of the moment purchase. This is it, and it is fun lens to use for sure. Viltrox did it again. I highly recommend it. And this is it from me. I hope this video was in some way helpful or informative. If it was, please give me the thumbs up, follow me on Instagram and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.